Good morning. Hey, thanks for joining me for a second cup of coffee. So I put some coconut almond milk in here. Earlier I tried it. It didn't froth very well. So I put a little bit of coconut skinny syrup. Sometimes uh, adding the skinny syrup helps the stuff to froth better. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me put this aside. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, ooh, you know what? I've only been having one cup of caffeinated coffee in the morning. Well, actually, you know, I was gonna say I'll make a second cup and make it an espresso, but I have got, let's see, that's Fortado. Uh, here we go. I have got Altissio espresso coffee in a decaf. I'm going to make it in here. The reason I pop back on, though, this is going to be in my Virtuo, by the way. The reason I pop back on is because I wanted to talk about something other than coffee. Okay, what I want to talk about is my brother sent me this really cool meme, which I guess a meme is like the modern day term, would you say, for a cartoon, you know, with a, a caption or a saying on it or something that gets across a point. Well, anyway, Google it. Meme, M-E-M-E. -E. And... It says something along the lines of how beautiful mosaics are, but mosaics are made up of a bunch of broken pieces. And I wanted to say, I'm gonna run this through one more time. What I wanted to say is that sometimes people, you, me, whoever, can feel like we don't measure up, we're not as, okay or as good or as worthwhile as other people because we have things in our lives sometimes in our past sometimes in our present that we feel badly about that we don't hear other people talk about in their lives uh, in other words what we're doing is we are comparing our insides to other people's outsides you know other people look like they're all together they got it together they're okay you know and we feel like we're less than them mm, yummy well here's the thing let me move this over here <coughs> You have to be at peace with you, okay? Standing in front of my Christmas tree. Yes, I have my Christmas tree out. Awful early, isn't it? But I'm gonna be leaving in a week to go abroad and I wanna enjoy it before I go because I'll be gone for several weeks. If you're comparing yourself to other people, and sometimes we do that kind of almost unconsciously, you know? We just have this feeling of, oh, you know, I just, I'm somehow less than everybody else. I just don't, you know, come up to the mark. Um, look at everyone else. They, they just, their children are well behaved. They seem to have this lovely marriage, blah, blah, blah. You know, there used to be a song I think in the 1970s maybe, called No One Knows What Goes On Behind Closed Doors. Our insides, me, you, other people, are a lot more alike than what we tend to think about. Mm. But we don't usually think about insides we have a tendency to just look at the outside. And very often, we come up short. I'll just put this down here. You know, 
we look at ourselves and we say, oh, we, we just naturally, it is, it's almost a natural thing. We compare ourselves with other people and we come up short. If you're doing that, oh my gosh, think about it. Stop. You are not less than somebody else. Okay, here's the thing. If there are things in your life that you don't think are okay, I mean, you really don't think they're okay, then make a plan to change those things, all right? But don't sit around feeling like you're somehow not worthwhile. You are worthwhile. Think about what I said, the mosaic. All right, if you don't know what a mosaic is, Google it, M-O-S-A-I-C. All right, it's like one of those pictures, or sometimes you even see, uh, these days it's real common for people maybe to uh, put the little broken pieces of tile or dishes or glass or whatever on the outside of flower pots to make them real pretty. Well, anyway, all of us, are made up of broken pieces because we're human and we all have sadnesses and trauma and disappointments and you know we have illnesses mental and physical we have broken relationships they're just broken bones i mean there's all sorts of things in life that go together to make each one of us who we are. And, um, well, somebody very close to me once shared that it was so difficult going through certain experiences in her life. But after she'd gone through them, she found richer relationships with other people because she could relate to their sorrows and their difficulties. And they found her to be so much of a better friend because they could talk about things together and really kind of understand one another. You know, um, do you wanna be a shallow person? I don't know, I don't wanna be a shallow person. But one of the ways you develop depth <laughs> to your personality, to your character, is you go through stuff, you know? You've, you've had experiences, you're experienced. You know, how do you get experience? Well, the way you get good experience usually is because you've had bad experience and you've learned, all right? So don't get down on yourself, for heaven's sakes. There are going to be in this world, unfortunately, enough people who will be down on you. You don't need to be down on yourself, okay? You are a wonderful and worthwhile and interesting person. So concentrate on your good points. And like I said, if you have some things that you don't think are so great, are they things you can change? Well, work on them. If there are things you cannot change, accept them and concentrate on the good stuff about you and think about that image of the mosaic i'm going to post it on my facebook page so you can see it and or else you can google mosaic all right and remember nobody's perfect you're not perfect you cannot be perfect in this life okay so Accept yourself and love yourself. And it's a lot more likely that other people will accept and love you too. Have a good day.